happy Halloween and welcome to another spooky installment of the Halloween unboxing videos we're doing over here on the channel for spooky season. Today we're going to be opening the brand new Disney mystery pin collection and this is a 10 pin collection. We collect all of these really awesome jack-o-lanterns. We've got Maleficent and her Crow Diablo. We've got Jafar and Iago, Ursula and Flotsam and Jetsam. We have Lucifer and Lady Tremaine. And then we also have Pain and Panic and Hades. I love all of these. I wish I could have got more boxes, but they only had six at my box lunch. So that is what we got. They were $12.90 a piece. If they're still available on Box Lunch's website, I will definitely link them down below for you. I definitely want Ursula, Flotsam and Jetsam, Lucifer, as well as Pain and Panic and Hades. Those are the ones that we are going with, but we will be happy with any ones that we get. I'd love to know which ones of these jack o lanterns you would like to get. We have six boxes. So why don't we go ahead and get started, you guys. It's mystery time. Now, there are only one pin in each of these boxes. And I was a little bit bummed. I was hoping that there was going to be two. But, alas, there was not. So, they do come in this black packaging. Let's see who is first. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> The one that I wanted the most. We have Flotsam and Jetsam in their jack-o'-lantern. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with this. I have a pretty extensive Disney pin collection that is Halloween themed. And this is going to go perfectly on my coffin pin boards. Oh, I'm so very excited. So here is the back. Oh, my, my hands got a little, got a little fingerprinty on the back there. These are Disney... And it also looks like they have a recycle symbol. That's so interesting. I wonder if these are made of recycled pins. <gasps> so the recycling says metal is one of our most precious resources because it will never be depleted. It can be recycled, remelted, and reshaped into new products countless times. And that's what they did with this. That is so cool. And I love they also used a brown paper packaging, which is also very green. I'm sure that this is also recycled packaging. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, anyway. Enough about that. Let's take this guy and put him on the board. Really started out with a bang. Let's head on to our next box. Okay. Let's see which jack-o'-lantern we're gonna get with this one. Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> we have pain and panic. <laughs> I love that Hercules is getting so much love as of recently. This is such a cute little jack-o'-lantern. Um, Panic looks terrified. <laughs> Pain actually looks like he's having a good time. And then there is the back again with the recycle symbols. That is so cool. Oh, I love this pin. I love these pins. They're a lot larger than I had thought that they were going to be as well, which is kind of cool. Moving on to our next box. Have you carved a jack-o'-lantern yet? I'm still trying to decide what my jack-o'-lantern's theme is going to be this year. Last year I did E.T., which I thought was so fun, but I need something different this time. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I think it would be fun to do something Disney-themed. Oh, I think this might... Oh, it's Iago! Oh, that's super cute. Look at Iago. He looks so very evil. <laughs> I love that he's like on his little tippy toes. He's got his little arms outspread. That is super cute. These are such fun and unique pins. I think that I will be uh, keeping all of these in my Halloween collection because these are just too fun. Wow, the size of these pins are just great. Let's move on. Next box is box number four. And just so you know, we still are waiting on, Male we still need Maleficent, Diablo, Jafar, Ursula, Lucifer, Lady Tremaine, and Hades. Which we clearly don't have enough boxes to get the entire collection, which is okay. Ooh, whoopsies, accidentally dropped that. <gasps> oh, 
Whoa. Here is Lady Tremaine. Oh my gosh, I love that they, it looks like they carved out like the white portions of her hair. So like the jack-o'-lantern yellow is coming through her hair. Oh, that is so cool. These actually kind of look like gourds to me rather than pumpkins, right? <laughs> Still super cool. Oh, I love that. Gorgeous. On to box number five. Gosh, I love these pins. These are just too fun. Oh my gosh, we got another new one. This is amazing. So we got Jafar. So we have the uh, counterpart to Iago. And oh my gosh, Jafar looks so, so very evil. Again, it looks like they carved out his headband as well as the jewel on his hat. And I like how each one of the pumpkins is actually a different shape for each of the different characters. And then there is the back of that one. And then last but not least, we have the very last one. Let's give it some pixie dust. I would love to see Ursula or Lucifer or Hades. I would obviously be happy with any of them as long as it's not a duplicate. So let's give it some love and open up our very last box. Oh, okay. We didn't get any duplicates. We got Diablo, Maleficent's trusty crow, or maybe Raven. I think he's a crow. Um, but this is a really, really cool one. Um, oftentimes you'll see Diablo on her staff, um, but I love that they use like a really round pumpkin so you can really see the outspread wings that Diablo has. Oh, that's so cool. Again, here is the back. And then let's take a closer look at the entire collection that we got today. Here's a closer look of the six pins that we got today. I'd love to know which one of these is your favorite. Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to be subscribed for lots more fun and mystery content. And I will see you guys in the next video. TGFN, bye.